What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from GeeksterLabs.com and today I got another sponsored review from a company called Top Greener and they have sent me a little roundup of their products to show you guys. So these are basically uh, smart home automation devices that you can add to your home to make it a little bit smarter, a little more automated. And so the three things I'm going to be showing you here are things I'm going to be using in my personal home. So the first one we got here is my one of my personal favorites. This is a ultra high speed USB charging receptacle. So this will allow you to add three USB ports to your charging or your plug, your wall plug. So as you can see there, there's it has two wall plugs like a normal wall plug does, but it also adds three USB ports on there. So that's a really cool product. This one actually retails for a little under $30, okay? Next in the list, we have a motion sensor LED light. So this is like a mountable light. Uh, you could put it on a wall or on a ceiling in like your cupboard, in your pantry, in your, in your laundry room in your closet, wherever it is that you need light, this has a motion sensor so it will turn on by itself. It's an LED light so it will last forever and this one runs off of battery power so you don't have to connect it to power or anything. You can put it pretty much anywhere you want in your home. And so this one retails for a little under 20 bucks. And then we got the light switch. So this one retails for a little over 20 bucks and this is a motion wall sensor switch. And so the cool thing about this is not only will it turn on by itself, but it'll turn itself off for you automatically. You can set it to uh, five, 10, 20, and 30 minute ranges. So if you're like me and you live in a household with kids that constantly forget to turn off light switches in the bathroom, in the laundry room, wherever it is, this is the light switch for you. So I'm gonna be putting one of these in my kitchen because my kids are constantly forgetting to turn the lights off downstairs when they come up. So that's something I'm gonna be installing in my kitchen. So I'm gonna give you guys a really brief install. I'm not gonna give you a, a this is not a detailed install video on how to install these products. They have a, a really good documentation that comes with each of them that shows you how easy they are to install for any of those uh, do-it-yourselfers at home. So I'm gonna be installing all three of these devices and give you guys a demonstration of how they work in my home and talk about my experience while using these three products in my personal home. So without further ado, let's get to the review. All right, so let me show you guys what's included inside each of these boxes just so you can see what you're getting with each of these packages. So like I showed you before, this is the three port, USB port uh, wall outlet plug. And so one of the cool things about this one is it actually includes wall plate as well as other colors as well. So if you need a, uh, this was almond, black, and it has the built-in white right there. So you have three different colors in case your uh, outlets are different colors. I have white, so I'm not gonna be having to mess with this very much. But everything that you need, all the instructions and all the information comes inside here. And like I said, it does include the plate as well because that's nice and it matches up. You probably could use the one that came with your plug, but just in case it's a different size, you can do that. So here is the actual uh, device itself. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install this really, really quickly, a basic install. I'm not gonna go too much de super detail about this. But uh, the one to take, keep in mind, so this actually, this three USB ports here will completely output 5.8 amps total, which is very nice. So you can technically charge five devices at one time. You got both plugs right here, plus you got three USBs in the middle. So you can, and like, even the box here mentions, you can uh, you can charge with the things like the iPad, iPad Pro, iPad mini, iPhone, Samsung devices, LG devices, HTC, Nexus, Sony, tablets, Bluetooth headsets, all different types of things is what uh, can be installed or can be charged while using the three USB port plug. So uh, in order to swap out, all you have to do is remove this plate, face plate right here. You can put like a screwdriver on the bottom and pop it out. I'm not gonna do that because I, like I said, I'm using the white one right here and it does have the IntelliJ chip system so it will not overcharge your device. It knows when to shut itself off. It's not just gonna get set, sit there and get hot and, over, and overcharge whatever device you happen to be plugging into it. So that is very nice. So like I said, this is the three USB port outlet. This one retails for a little under $30 currently. Um, the price obviously is gonna change a little bit, but uh, that is this one. So let's check out the next device. All right, so here we have the motion sensing light switch. So let's go ahead and pop this open so I can show you everything that comes with it. This one also includes the wall plate as well, which is very nice. I'm gonna have to purchase a special wall plate because where I wanna put this, I have three plugs. So it's a, it's a much wider uh, wall plate. So I'm gonna have to get one of those ones that has this type of opening on one of the switches and then the other two switches will be regular because I'm sw only swapping this out for one of the switches. So we do have some caps for the wires, wire caps. And uh, so this does require a ground wire. So it doesn't, neutral wire is not required, but a ground wire is required. And here's the receptacle for that. And so whenever you want to adjust the settings, oops, for the timer, we have timer switches on the bottom right here. So this is how you can adjust uh, either the range and also the time. So it goes from five, 10, 20, and 30 minutes. So if it sits there and it doesn't detect any motion for those time periods, 
lights will shut off by themselves. And the second someone walks in front of it or across it, it, it will turn on by itself. And I believe it mentions here that it has 180 field of view, so a very wide field of view. Turns lights on and off, zero crossing function, ground wire required, I already mentioned that. And this will work with basically any light bulbs or any kind of, any kind of a lighting system you have in your kitchen. So like I said, I'm gonna be using this one in my kitchen, but you can use this anywhere in your, your closet, your uh, maybe your laundry room, all different types of places. So I'll show you guys a quick install of this uh, at my home in the kitchen. And that is the uh, motion sensing wall switch. All right, last but not least, we have the wireless motion sensor light. And so this is something I'm probably gonna set up like in our, uh, in our pantry maybe. I'm not quite sure exactly where I'm setting this up just yet, but I did wanna show you what comes included with it. So here on the back we have the 3M tape. So this is which obviously if you need to mount it to the wall or the ceiling or whatever and you don't wanna put use screws, you can peel that tape off. That'll stick to pretty much any surface because it's 3M tape. But you can see here it also has screw holes. It does not include screws, but if you had two wall mounting screws, you can actually attach that to the back plate right here. Let me uh, see if I can. So here's basically how it comes to you. So here's the plate. So you mount this to the wall first and then you take this piece and you, you uh, attach it to that and you rotate it. And that's what snaps onto the plate. But when you do have to replace the battery, you rotate it, pop it off. And then with screwdrivers, you pop this part off and then you have access to the batteries. So this does require three AA batteries on the inside right there. And then when you're ready to close it up, you just basically snap that into place. You place this on the, uh, the wall with this right here, then you rotate that and that locks onto the wall. And then there, there you have the LED light and then you have the motion sensor. So this, I believe this will work up to 10 feet in motion. So pretty, pretty far away. If it's in a closet or in a closed space, once you open the door, it's gonna immediately turn off. But because it is the LED light, that's gonna last, I believe it quotes it at like 50,000 hours or so. So you're not gonna have to replace the bulb. You're gonna have to replace the batteries more often than you'll have to replace the bulb. So, like I said, uh, three AA batteries is what you'll need to purchase. They are not included. You'll have to purchase those separately. So I'll go ahead and show you what this looks like when it's actually installed in my home. All right, guys, so here is the plug I have on the side of our island in the kitchen. So I'm gonna be swapping this out. This is what I was using originally in order to uh, have a, an option for charging of devices when people were over here at the house. But like I said, there's only two ports on here. It does give me four plugs, but we never really needed all four plugs. So it'll be just more, more convenient to have a three port USB like this one, but still have two plugs in case we need to put like a crock pot or any kind of things on the side here. So that's why I don't want to completely replace this with just USB ports. USB ports. So we're going to swap off the plate. We're going to swap off the, uh, the, actual, the actual thing itself. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished and done. All right, the plug is installed. As you can see, there's three USB ports here and the two regular plugs. So uh, at this point, we can now plug up to three iPads into here all at one time and they can be able to charge them simultaneously. So this is done. So now I'll switch over to the light switch. Okay, so now we're gonna install the plug over here on this wall. So I'm gonna be putting the motion sensor plug right here and replacing this one for the kitchen light. But uh, so this, this comes with a single outlet cover but because I have three wall switches, I had to purchase a, a different one here from uh, Home Depot. So this is what I'm gonna be swapping out with this since the next uh, light switch is gonna be much bigger and much larger. So we'll be replacing this one with this one right here. Okay guys, so I've successfully installed the light switch on the panel here and I've placed the, uh, the new cover on top. So I took out the bottom part here. This is actually the bottom piece that just snaps out. This is what actually is the button right here. So as I pressed it, the lights kick on and off. But when you pop it out, you can see here some option settings on the bottom. So the first one here is for time. So this is what you would set for how long you want it to be when it doesn't detect any motion for it to turn off by itself. So it was five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and 30 minutes. So I have it set to 20 minutes. And on the bottom switch here, we have off, and then we have OCC and VAC. So OCC is well, it will turn on with motion and it will turn off when it doesn't detect motion. VAC is when it will turn on with motion, but then it won't turn off by itself. So if you want both of those options, you have to keep it in the middle switch. And then if you want to adjust the sensitivity of the motion, that's this range right here. So it goes one through four and you can have actually adjustments to, between each of those numbers. So if you want it to be real sensitive, you set it to one side. And if you want it to be only sensitive when something's really close up to it, you turn it to the other direction. And so that's how this thing works. And then the blue light will blink, letting you know that it's powering on and that it is working. 
So that's it for this review today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please show some love to the like button down below and post any questions you might have about these products. If you're interested in purchasing any of these products on Amazon, I'll have links down to those in the description below as well. So if you wanna check out some of my other videos, I got two other clips you can click on right here. And if you would like to subscribe to my YouTube channel to be notified of other tech reviews, make sure you click on my face. So that's it for me today, and I'll see you guys in the next video review.